In this video, we're going to be looking at how to find the area of what we call a composite shape. What I mean by a composite shape is this shape that I've got in front of me is not obviously just a rectangle or a square or a triangle or anything like that. It's a number of shapes that have been put together. So the first thing I, I need to decide when I look at this shape is how I'm going to go about working it out. Now, the, the, the first thing that seems obvious to me is that it would be helpful to split this uh, shape up into two different shapes. So if I do a little dotted line across here like that, then that leaves me with this shape here, which I'm going to call shape a, and this shape here, which I'm going to call shape B. Now shape A is the one that's going to be the simplest to work out the area for to begin with, because we actually have the necessary lengths for it already. Now what I mean by that is to find the area of a rectangle, we multiply the length by the width. And in shape A, we actually happen to know the length and the width already. The width of this shape here is 6.5 centimetres. So I can just put that in there. And the width is 4 centimetres. Okay, so if I multiply those two together, then that's going to give me a total area of 26 centimetres squared. Now, if I wanted to do that mentally and I wasn't too sure about how I'd do it, I'd do 6 times 4 is 24, 0 0.5, so that's a half, times 4 is 2. 24 plus 2 gives me 26 centimetres squared. So that's shape A that we've dealt with. Now, what about shape B? Okay, well, shape B is a little bit trickier because when we don't actually know what these lengths are, immediately at least. However, we can work those out. What we see here is that we know that this length going across is 6.5 centimetres, and we know that up to here, this is 4.5 centimetres in length. So therefore, the difference between 6.5 and 4.5 is 2 centimetres, and so, that length there must be two centimetres. What we then need to do is we need to find what this length here is. Now again, we're going to use the same principles. We know that this length here, all the way down, is six centimetres. And I know that this length is four centimetres. So that means that this part of my shape B must be six centimetres minus four centimetres, which again gives me two centimetres. So again, shape B is going to be length times by the width, and in this situation we know that it's going to be two centimetres times two centimetres, which gives me four centimetres squared. So those are my two different shapes. One thing we must remember to do is we must remember not to just finish at that point. We need to add the area of A and area of B together. And so in this situation, that will be 26 plus 4, giving me 30 centimetres squared. And that would be my answer. Final thing I want you to just notice that I've done here is I've shown a lot of working out and examiners will be looking for that because even if you make a mistake, this could be a four mark question. And even if I end up getting an incorrect answer, I could still get three of those four marks. So it's very important that we show a nice method as to how we go about finding the answer for the area of this composite shape. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but 
what we want to do first is get all of these X's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3X, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3X equals 12. Oh, and so X equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done. Well done.